Okay, here we are. Um, it's that time of the year again, I guess. Uh, how to install uh, Arch Linux in VirtualBox. Uh, a lot of things have changed since I did the last video, uh, such as to be expected with a rolling release as Arch Linux is. So if you've never been there before, it's uh, archlinux.org. Uh, as always, go to the wiki and look through the beginner's guide and get yourself... Uh, familiar with some of the terminology and uh, installing in uh, a virtual machine which isn't as hard to do as uh, in some cases as on a, your actual machine so we have uh, VirtualBox here I'm using uh, Ubuntu 1304 as the host but it doesn't matter um, at all actually okay so I'll click new and just type in arch and if you notice, it picks up the version, Arch Linux, and I'm going to use the 64-bit. So if type in 64, and now it says 64-bit. You click Next. Um, 256 is okay, but I'm going to give it quite a bit more. I'm going to give it to 496, 4 gigs of RAM. Create a virtual hard drive. Uh, virtual box image, dynamic. We don't want a fixed size. Uh, I'm going to give it 30 gigs, though, just so we have room. Okay. With its, uh, it's set to go, but what I go do is go to settings and do some extra things, such as the processor. I give it four cores, because I have six core processor. Uh, if you only have one, then obviously leave it at one. Uh, storage. I crank that up to 128 and enable 3D acceleration. As you see here. Okay, under storage. Where it says controller IDE. Where, and then where it says empty. Go over to your right. And you see a small disk icon. Click that. Choose virtual CD. So it's in my downloads. And here it is here. Arch Linux. Uh, May 1st, 2000, 2013. And just hit open. And now we're good to go, so you press OK at the bottom right, and you press Start. This, uh, I just, this is a new install of VirtualBox, so I'm going to get these messages popping up. Okay, so we have uh, choices here. Uh, the first one I'm going to use is the 64-bit. Uh, if you're using 32-bit, choose the second option, and then obviously there's no OS. You can run a mem test, etc., reboot, or just power off, so... Uh, first option, and yeah, try to make this as quick as I can. Okay, press enter, and let it do its boot thing and its reminder thing. Okay, we're at the root. Now, if you notice here on the side, I just made some notes. That's the, you, if I'm not zooming in out too much, you can keep a keep track of what I'm doing. So. First thing I want to do is make sure we're connected to the internet. So I'll do a ping and then google.com. Okay, we're getting a ping back. So we're connected. So you can clear, just type in clear. Now I want to set up our partition on the virtual hard drive. So it's C, F, disk. I'll zoom in here. And that's it. Press enter. And it says new. Press enter. Primary, I'm going to give this uh, 10, 1, 2, 3 gig, gigabytes, and at the beginning. Uh, so now it's STA1, and we want that bootable, so hit enter for boot. Now we arrow key, down once, new, primary is fine, 2048, that's going to be your swap. I'm going to put it at the end. Now it says STA2, and then finally the one in the middle, free space, primary, whatever's left. And that's it. So now we have three partitions ready to go. So arrow over to where it says right, press enter, type Y-E-S, enter, and you're done. Quit. Now we're going to make a file system. So it's mkfs.ext4, extension 4 file system, on device devsda1. Press enter. 
And we're going to do the same thing on device 3. Done. Now we're going to do make a swap file. So mkswap, one word, dev sda2. And we'll turn the swap file on. On dev sda2 again. Good. So we've done this so far on this side. I'll bring this over if I can. But it's going to let me. Now we're going to uh, make mount the uh, device SDA1 onto mount. Uh, that's our basically our root area. Uh, and then make a directory home and then mount the home and then uh, we already made the swap file. Then we'll move on from there. So it's mount slash dev sda1 space slash mnt. Now we're going to make mkdir, make a directory from mount slash home. Now we're going to mount db slash sda3 to mnt slash home. We're done. Okay. So now we have our partitions made, our file system made, and the partitions mounted and ready to install Arch Linux. Now, um, Arch Linux relies on Pac-Man. Uh, that's the package manager uh, where you install everything from. Um, in Ubuntu, it's usually a uh, pseudo apt-get apt -get to install from command line. You also have a software center, the graphical interface, but primarily we use the command line to install stuff in Arch Linux. So to edit the mirror list, because there's a ton of countries, we just uh, use a command line based text editor such as nano. And we're going to edit a file in etc etsy pacman.d slash mirror list. And as you can see, if I arrow key down, there's a ton of countries. So how do you sort this out? Well, you could leave it as it is, uh, but just for optimization, you press Control key and W, and it says search now. So I'm going to search for a country, Canada. That is a country, by the way. <laughs> and there it is there. And under server, you can see it here. You press Alt, and then the on your keyboard, the number 6, Alt 6 page all the way up to the beginning just above the first entry and press control u and then we do we just keep doing that so i'll pause the video while i'm doing this and uh i'll be back when this is done okay once you finish editing uh there was only three mirrors usually there's four but there's only three you just press control x and yes you just uh type y and then right to that file name, mirror list, yes, and you just press enter. And now it's saved. Now the task at hand to downloading our base Arch Linux installation. I believe. Yep. So to do that, uh, it's pack, P A C strap, pack strap, one word. A space and a dash mount. Now there's other arguments you can put in between, but I just leave it as that. And then it's a base, so we want our base system, and we want our base dash de valve for extra stuff. Uh, so you press enter, and it should go out and uh, grab the mirrors. It updates the mirror list I edited, and it's downloading, and it's coming down fairly good uh, for once. <laughs> so again, I'll pause this and I'll be back. Okay, everything went well. Uh, no problems. Uh, download and, uh, says here three minutes or so. Uh, one quick thing. Uh, download is at the top here, at the top right at archlinux.org slash download. You can get it through uh, Magnet Link or Torrent or through uh, different countries. Thought I'd mention that just in case. Oops. Bye. Okay. So now we're going to uh, generate a file system table. So let's do that. So zoomerize in. Clear the screen. And as G E N F S T A B, 
mounts, MNT, two of these uh, thingies, arrow things, and then slash MNT slash ETC slash FSTAB, or file system table. Press enter. And I usually like to check that, so I'm just going to arrow up and delete up to the slash mount and t type nano. Take a look. Extension 4 looks good. Okay. And just exit out of there. You don't have to change anything. So I'll clear the screen again. Now we're going to um, ch root into our system that we have set up through uh, CF disk. So it's arch dash ch root space dash mnt. There we are. You can do an ls if you want list. And first thing, password. Your root password. So P A S S W D one D. Enter. Okay, password has been updated. And now we have to um, set up our area, our time zone and our uh, locale. So first one is nano again. ETC slash ETC slash local dot G E N. This is for your character set and stuff. And you can page down and find your area. For example, if you have English GB, you take those for two there. Okay, so E N U S is here. You just delete the pound sign, delete key, and again, another one is there. Control X, type the letter Y for yes, enter. And then we issue uh, locale dash G E N, and it should generate the locales, which it just did. Uh, type in date. Okay, now for our time zone, uh, we're going to make a symbol link so it's LN, link S dash S, slash USR slash share slash zone info oh dear and after that is uh, where you are approximately so America in my case those can be found in that directory so if we actually change to that USR share Zone info, change directory and take a look. LS uh, lists out, you can see all the, inf the zones that you can type in. So after that, you tell it if you want it in the etc slash local time. You know, issue date again. That's, that's better. Okay, that's what it should be. EDT, um, Eastern Standard Daylight Time, whatever. Okay, so that's established. And you want to, you can, you can do this later, but uh, host name. So you echo, and I'll just call it VBox. Then one of these things, slash etc slash host name. Okay. Now we're going to uh, download Grub. So it's Pac Man now. This is our main package manager, Pac Man, dash capital S. You do this a lot. Um, and when you're in uh, non-root, it's a uh, pseudo Pac-Man. So anyway, Pac-Man, capital S, uh, grub, dash, bios. Now we're going to install it. So grub, dash, install, slash, dev, sda. That's sda. No one, no two, no three, nothing. Just sda. Press enter. Good. And you can, this is optional. You can do an mk in it. C P I O slash P, I mean dash P Linux. Just uh, detecting basic hardware stuff and others. You can manipulate that file later on if you wish. Um, and then uh, we'll generate our grub configuration. So it's grub dash M K C O N C O N F I G make config dash. O 
slash, yeah, it's long with uh, slash boot, slash grub, slash grub, dot c f g. Enter. And that's it. We've installed Arch Linux. So you just uh, type exit and u mount or unmount, if you mount, slash mnt slash home. Enter. Same thing, but just MNT. Make sure the file system is unmounted, and that's it. And you just issue a reboot. So that concludes uh, part one of this um, installation. Okay, so I'll uh, continue on in part two after the reboot.